I can. I woke up this morning feeling completely uninspired. It's been like this for a while, where even the simplest tasks felt like monumental challenges. Even getting into the shower felt like a chore. I've been barely managing to get by, just doing the bare minimum. My house, a complete rest. I haven't had the energy to clean it, not even when a couple of my friends dropped by to check up, up on me. I didn't answer the door. I couldn't face them. Halloween is just a few days away. Landing awkwardly on a weekday. Last weekend, my friends and I decided to get into the spirit early and hit up a haunted house attraction. Honestly, we had a blast. For the first time in a long time, I felt alive again. But something changed when I got home. Ever since that night, I haven't felt the same. After days of struggling, I finally mustered up the energy to take a shower. But when I stepped in front of the mirror, I froze. The reflection staring back at me wasn't me. I'm only 22, fit, athletic, and full of life. The person in the mirror was old, bald, sloppy looking, completely unfamiliar. I blinked, splashed water on my face, hoping to clear my head. But when I looked again, the same grotesque figure stared back at me. What the hell, I shouted, panic rising in my chest. I convinced myself I must be dreaming. I rushed out of the bathroom, my heart pounding. But as soon as I entered my bedroom, I stopped dead in my tracks. There lying on my bed was the same person I had seen in the mirror, the same hollow decaying figure. His voice, raspy and unnatural, yelled at me to let go and give in. I had no idea what he meant, but I knew one thing. I had to fight. Without thinking, I lunged at him, attacking the bed. But he wasn't there. My fist only met the crumpled blankets. He was gone, and I was left standing there, breathless and confused. My mind raced, trying to make sense of what was happening. I kept telling myself, Clyde, get a grip. This can't be real. It took a moment, but eventually I calmed down. I picked myself up, deciding to continue with my shower, hoping to wash away the madness. But as soon as I stepped back in the shower, the curtain flew open. There he was again, the old sloppy man, standing right there yelling at me once more. Let go! Give in! This time I didn't hesitate. I leaped out of the shower, but in a panic, I slammed into the toilet, shattering the mirror. Blood dripped from the cuts on my hands and face, but worse than the physical pain was the voice, the voice that wouldn't stop, echoing in my head, trying to take control of me, trying to consume my mind. I started praying, begging for help, pleading with God to save me from whatever this was. I prayed out loud, nonstop, but what felt like half an hour, finally everything went quiet. The voice disappeared. The man was gone. It's been a few days since the terrifying encounter, and I haven't seen or heard him since. I thank God every day for the silence, but I know one thing for sure. I'm done with Halloween. I'll never celebrate it again.